So it looks like AMD is about to bring Zen 2 and PCIe Gen 4 support down to the budget-minded entry cost level for consumers. New to PC building or just trying to stay within a budget and get the most you can? Give our PC builder tool a spin and let us help you get the most for your money. So AMD's board partners have yet to release a cost-effective line of motherboards for the Ryzen 3000 CPU family. Currently, the vast majority of AMD Ryzen 3000 PC builders either consider upgrading to the new but more expensive X570 motherboards or they're doing like me and they're sticking with their older AMD M4 socket motherboards while losing a small list of features that are only available on the new chipset. Mind you, PCI 4 is like the biggest of them. However, AMD will soon be unveiling its new B550 chipset motherboards for mainstream and budget users that will definitely lead them to upgrade those older PCs considering the value and performance proposition of the Ryzen 3000 platform as a whole has to offer. Now, earlier this year, it was reported that AMD would commence mass production of its B550 and A520 chipsets in Q1 2020. We've got to see several revised B550A motherboards specifically developed for the OEM market, but they are closer to the old B450 chipset in design, but offering limited PCIe Gen 4 capabilities compared to what the B550 will offer. Now, the AMD B550 motherboards are expected to continue to support the better I.O. and come in at lower prices than the existing X570 options. Now, according to our sources, AMD plans to introduce its B550 motherboards on the 21st of May, but you won't be able to purchase them retail until they launch on the 16th of June, which is almost a month apart from the announcement. Featuring the AM4 socket, the AMD B550 motherboards would be ready for next generation Ryzen 4000 series APUs and Ryzen 4000 series desktop CPUs as confirmed recently. Now the B550 and A520 chipsets would make a good combo with the upcoming third generation Ryzen 3 quad core CPUs which would fall in the same price category and make for a pretty awesome budget build. What's that? Ryzen 3 you say? Hmm. Well, after dominating the high-end and mainstream market processors, AMD is focusing to launch two new Zen 2-based Ryzen 3000 series CPUs that will be available in the sub $150 budget range. Now, these two processors would be part of the Ryzen 3 lineup, which hasn't seen much love since the well, launch of the third generation Ryzen CPUs. There is, however, the Ryzen 3 3200G, 30, uh, but that is still a Zen Plus part, and it's just, it's APU based and those will be getting a refresh eventually. Now the two new processors have been spotted by Momomo underscore US and has been mentioned that they are part of the Ryzen 3 third generation series. A lot of threes there guys. AMD has so far introduced Ryzen 9, Ryzen 7, and Ryzen 5 in its third generation Ryzen 2 lineup, but soon we'll be getting two new additions of the Ryzen 3 processors as well. These will include the Ryzen 3 3300X and the Ryzen 3 3100. The AMD Ryzen 3 3300X will be a quad-core, eight-threaded processor, and it will feature a clock frequency up to 4.3 gigahertz, which is 300 megahertz higher than the second generation Ryzen 3 2300X. The Ryzen 3 2300X also didn't feature multi-threading and had 10 megabytes of cache compared to the 18 megabytes that the Ryzen 3 3300X will have. The Ryzen 3 3300X will feature a TDP of 65 watts and should feature good overclocking capabilities, similar to what we've already seen with Zen 2. Now, the AMD Ryzen 3 3300X could end up close to the $120 to $140 US market, which still would make it a fantastic option considering the higher boost frequencies. Now, the second chip in the lineup would be the Ryzen 3 3100. Now, this would be AMD's most entry-level Ryzen chip and should feature four cores and eight threads as well. The maximum clock for this one, however, is only 3.9 gigahertz, which is still 200 megahertz higher than the Ryzen 3 2200G, which lacks multi-threading and comes with a lower cache, but it does feature the integrated Vega GPU. Now, the Ryzen 3 3100 could end up closing the gap around the $100 US price range, which would be fantastic for entry-level gamers. Now, considering you can get a whole lot of performance out of this multi-threaded chip, which would give Intel's Core i3 lineup quite a run for its money. Now, people, I know already that you will be excited for the B550 boards and pairing those with the existing Ryzen 5 3000 series chips and maybe even the eight cores as well. But I'm really interested to hear your thoughts on the lower priced quad core chips. Would you even buy those? For more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.